you notice that he's got that strap on his right shin and it was indeed where he was cut in that fight five years older Manoff four centimeters shorter this is Japan against the Netherlands ladies and gentlemen this next bout is three rounds in the 1FC middleweight division and this fight is brought to you by Energizer introducing first fighting out of the blue corner standing at 180 centimeters tall and weighing in at 83.9 kilograms holding a professional record of 15 wins six losses and four draws fighting out of pancras SM from japan is the middleweight champion of pancras please welcome rio rambo kamamura And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing at 176 centimeters tall and weighing in at 83.9 kilograms, holding a professional record of 25 wins, nine losses and one draw with one no contest. Fighting out of Mike's gym from the Netherlands, he is the cage rage light heavyweight world champion. It's Melvin. No mercy, Mano! When the action begins, your referee in charge is referee Yuji Shimada. Hey, come hold up. Five minutes, three rounds. Yeah. No head batting, not a growing. Don't go the fence. Three fights, start the gloves. No. Kora. Okay, Kaiser, good job. Kora. Round one then, and if you like your fights to be explosive, don't leave town yes. because this one could well be. Ready, go! Rio Kawamura against Melvin Manoff. What do you make of those trunks? Well, I would have to say those are a unique choice. <laughs> Taking a page out of Dennis Holman's books. This fight, this fight is brought to you by Energizer. What a strange style this Japanese fighter has. Low, low hands, kind of floppy body. <laughs> That's usually how guys look after they fight yeah. Melvin Manu. <laughs> he likes to be a little bit sort of uh, flexible. Wow, that is bizarre, isn't it? I mean, Melvin just looks like a cheetah just stalking his prey. I think I've seen this on the Discovery Channel a couple times, just loading up that right hand. I'm not sure that Melvin knows exactly what to make of that. Whoa. Well, Rio is one of those guys, he, he's, he's very tricky, he's nice and limber, he's moving around. I don't think keeping your hands down may be the most beneficial way to fight Melvin Manoff, but... Well, he may soon learn that lesson, but it's very unorthodox, isn't it, that style he has. Well, he's just outside of Melvin's range, so his hands down don't necessarily hurt there, but another 8 to 10 inches in, he's, he's going to be playing a really dangerous zone. You know, Melvin's a very big guy, but he's doesn't have the longest reach for the middleweight division. He has to really get inside there to make some serious contact, but... The crowd are recognizing that there hasn't been much contact so far in the first minute and a half, getting a bit restless. You see Melvin's right leg is taped up where he had that, that cut from the last one yeah. FC. And that cut was brutal. It was about six inches long and about a, an inch wide, and Melvin didn't care. He wanted to keep going. He just speaks to how <laughs> just crazy and tenacious this guy is. Yeah, neither fighter wanted that one to finish, I have to say. But for everybody's safety, it was, it was called off. There's been minimal contact in the first two minutes of this fight. Kawamura scores with a inside leg kick. Melvin has held center cage for the entire two and a quarter minutes that we've had. Oh. <laughs> Well, look at this. Melvin Manoff doesn't really know what to make of this. I think Melvin is used to getting into those fights where it's you know, K1 style. Let's, yeah, see, you can tell he really wants to engage. I'm actually surprised Melvin's not taking the bait here by Rio and engaging in a couple of strikes. Just getting inside close to distance. Not everyone will be able to relate to this, but... The right hand snuck through. That's the problem when you hit a guy like Melvin Manoff is that Every time you hit him, you're, you're happy you're hitting him. On the same token, you're kind of pissing him off. 
Melvin's looking to step things up a bit. He's had enough of this. Gets in closer quarters. Send the left hand out. You know, Rio's put together a, a good strategy, though. It might not be the most fan-friendly way to fight him, but by keeping Melvin on his toes and not letting him kind of figure out where his head movement's going, not letting him set those punches, he's giving him the opportunity to open up a couple of things that he might want to do offensively. Especially if he can irritate him, as you say. You never know what uh, might develop for him. He's got that. It reminds me of, some of you will be able to relate, Bruce Grobler in the European Cup Final with the wobbly legs. Some of you soccer fans will know what I'm talking about. I wonder if he'll have just as much success as Bruce he did. Different sport. Wins equally important. He went to a knee and got up again. I would doubt that Melvin Manoff has faced anyone like this before with this kind of style. Melvin fended off that kick to the head with his right hand. Uh, we went Melvin looking to land a big left hand, but we have got out of the way of that one quite comfortably. <laughs> oh, and nice right hand right, yeah. through. Sent Melvin back a bit. Probably causing Melvin Manor to be more cautious than he'd like to be because he really doesn't know what to expect. Oh, he did it, oh, he did it again. Big right hand. Well, he did what he did just a minute earlier, sinking to a single knee and getting straight back up again. And Melvin Manoff was having none of that. He just sunk a heavy, heavy right hand onto the chin for the Japanese fighter, and there was no getting up from that. An emphatic finish from the Dutchman. A case of the most unorthodox style, not paying off at all. Directly above me, Melvin Manoff is on top of the cage and taking his plaudits. What a big right hand that was. And when we get to see a replay, you'll see that he went down at Rio Kawamura to his knee and came straight back up. It's something he'd done just 60 seconds earlier. One of many things that he'd been trying to put the Dutchman off. There he goes. Oh, flush on the jaw. And like a pack of cards, a house of cards, he just fell. Like dynamite had gone off beneath his feet. Explosive finish okay, from Melvin Manoff. Oh, and he followed up, didn't he, with the hammer blow before Yuji Shimada could tell him to stop. It's the official decision. Kawamura is back on his feet, I'm very happy to say. Looks groggy. Here's Anthony Suntai. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Yuji Shimada stops this bout at 4 minutes 40 seconds of round number one for your winner. Via knockout from the red corner, it's Melvin.